Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the base set through fossil format. On one side, we've got the Arcanine deck going up against the Dragonite deck on the other side, so we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to my Twitter account at Holland underscore Phantom so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with it out of the way, let's get into the battle! And here we go, the battle has started, with both players flipping over their starting Pokémon. On the Arcanine side, we've got Psyduck as the active Pokémon with a Voltorb on the bench, and on the Dragonite side, we've got Kangaskhan as the active Pokémon with a Dratini and a Hitmonchan on the bench. The Arcanine side is going first, placing a Growlithe onto the bench and attaching a Psychic Energy to Psyduck to attack with Headache. And on the Dragonite side, cannot use any trainer cards during their turn. And on the Dragonite's first turn, they place a Doduo down to the bench and attach a Fighting Energy to Kangaskhan to attack with Fetch to draw one more card out of the deck. Now quickly back over to the Arcanine side, Growlithe evolves into Arcanine, and he gets a double colorless energy, followed by the player using the trainer card Professor Oak to discard the rest of their hand to draw seven brand new cards. So if the player gets an Electrode, they can attack this turn. So let's see what they get. Did they get the Evolution? Uh, not yet, but here's a build to draw two more cards out of the deck. Followed by a second build to draw another two cards. And here's a third bill, okay. <laughs> With a total of 13 cards drawn off trainer cards this turn. And yes, there's the Electrode coming down. There's Electrode's Pokemon power activating and knocks itself out. So the Dragonite side takes their first prize. But now Electrode attaches onto Arcanine as a double rainbow energy. So it's fully powered up. So Psyduck retreats to promote the Arcanine. And then Arcanine gets a Defender attached to it to shield it from 20 damage. There's the attack, it's gonna be Takedown. Hitting Kangaskhan for 80 damage. And Arcanine hits itself for 10 damage recoil. It would have been 30 if not for the Defender. Okay, now over to the Dragonite side. Let's see what they can do. That's a huge turn for the Arcanine side. A Lickitung comes down onto the bench, followed by the Pokemon Trader Trainer card. Just swap out a Dratini from the hand for any Pokemon from the deck, and let's see what they get. It's going to be a second Kangaskhan. Looks like the player's going to be trying to draw some more cards with Kangaskhan's attack. There we go, Kangaskhan comes down, so the player has a full bench now. And the new Kangaskhan gets a Fighting Energy. And there's a Fetch, drawing another card out of the deck. And now the Defender is discarded between turns. Turn passes back over to the Arcanine side. A second Defender comes down to the Arcanine to shield it from um, some more damage. And a Psychic Energy is attached to the Bench Psyduck now. And there's another takedown, taking the first prize for the Arcanine side. And Arcanine takes another 10 damage recoil. So both sides are tied, five prizes remaining apiece. Doduo comes up as a new active Pokemon for the Dragonite side now. And then it's going to be retreating to promote Kangaskhan, which immediately attacks with Fetch to draw another card. So no evolutions coming down for the Dragonite side. They're not having a very good start in this game. On the Arcanine side, the player activates uh, Item Finder, discarding two cards from their hand to... Search the discard pile for any trainer card, and it's going to be Defender once again! So, there's a takedown declared, hitting Kangaskhan for 80 damage. Another 10 damage comes down to Arcanine, so these Defenders have been putting in a lot of work. Otherwise, this Arcanine would have hit itself for 90 damage by now. Okay, a Fighting Energy comes down to the Bench Lickitung, and there's another Fetch attack. Still no Evolutions coming down! Okay, on the Arcanine side... No cards are played whatsoever, going straight for the attack, another takedown. But there's no defenders this time, so Arcanine takes the full 30 damage recoil, so it's taken 60 damage. Okay, Doduo comes back up into the active spot, and the Lickitung comes down to the bench, followed by Energy Retrieval, discarding another Dratini from the hand to get back two discarded Fighting Energies. And let's see what they're going to be doing with them. Fighting Energy comes down to the new Lickitung, which then comes into the active spot to attack with Tongue Wrap, hitting for 10 damage. And the coin flip is going to be heads, meaning that Arcanine is now paralyzed for this turn. It cannot attack. That's going to be buying the Dragonite side an extra turn. Okay, there's the fourth and final bill coming down for the Arcanine side to draw another two cards out of the deck. And there's Item Finder once again to discard another two cards. So two Psychic Energies go to the discard pile to get back any trainer card. And it's going to be the Computer Search to discard an additional two cards. And now they can search the deck for any card that they need. 
Arcane. The chosen card is going to be under the Growl if the player is going to be trying to build up another Arcanine in a future turn, just in case this active one goes down. Growlithe now gets a double colorless energy. It just needs an Electrode to fully power up its attacks. Because his deck does not run any fire energy whatsoever. The fire energy requirements have to be provided by the Electrode. Okay, on the Dragonite side, a fighting energy comes down to Hitmonchan. And now Lickitung attacks with Tongue Wrap once again. Uh, what was that coin flip? It was another Heads! So, Arcanine, once again, is paralyzed and cannot attack and is down to just 20 HP remaining. Okay, the Bench Growlithe now evolves into a second Arcanine, and that's going to be it. Turn passes once again. Now, Fighting Energy comes down to Dratini. And here's the plus power coming down to the Lickitung, so there should be enough attack power to take down the Arcanine. It's going to be the second prize taken by the Dragonite side. And they still have not evolved any of their Pokémon. Okay, Saida comes into the active spot now. It does have a Psychic Energy to power up its Headache attack. A Voltorb comes down to the bench, and there's the attack declared, Headache. So the Dragonite player cannot use any trainer cards this turn. A Double Colorless Energy comes down to the bench, Dratini now. And there's a Tongue Wrap, hitting for 10 damage. And it's going to be a Tails that time on the Coin Flip, so Psyduck is not paralyzed. Okay, and the Arcanine side does get another Electrode. It activates its Pokémon power to knock itself out. So they give up a prize to the Dragonite side, but now Arcanine is fully powered up. So Psyduck retreats to promote the new Arcanine now. Oh, and it also gets a plus power. It's going to be enough to take the one hit KO against his Lickitung, followed by Professor Oak to draw another seven cards out of the deck. Okay, there's the cards being drawn. Let's see if they have any more Pokémon to play down. Yes, another, uh, not sorry, Electrode Voltorb comes down, followed by another Growlithe. And there's the attack takedown to take the one-hit KO against Lickitung, and take the third prize of the game. Both sides are tied at three prizes remaining apiece, and Arcanine dis hit itself for 30 damage recoil. Okay, Doduo comes back into the active spot now for the Dragonite side. Another Kangaskhan comes down onto the bench. Now Doduo is going to be retreating to promote the second Lickitung. Okay, there's another Tongue Wrap. So this Lickitung is going to be trying to stall out the game by inflicting paralysis on this Arcanine. Okay, let's see what the Arcanine player can do. Nothing! No cards are played. Turn quickly passes back over to the Dragonite side. There's another Dratini coming down onto the bench. Followed by another Tongue Wrap attack, hitting for another 10 damage, and another Heads. So Lickitung is putting in a lot of work with this paralysis. Arcanine cannot attack for another turn in a row. Let's see what the player can do now. Still nothing! They don't have any energy cards or evolutions to play down. Turn passes back over to the Dragonite side. The fourth energy comes down to the Dratini. Is it going to be evolving soon? Still no evolutions! They've been going through the entire game without evolving any of their Pokémon. Okay, the Tongue Wrap fails the Paralysis this time. Okay, here we go. The Voltorb evolves into Electrode now. Followed by Gust of Wind. Now the player drags up the bench Dratini that's loaded up with all the energy. And it's going to be getting KO'd before it gets a chance to evolve. There's the takedown. Taking the fourth prize of the game. But now Arcanine is down to just 10 HP remaining. So this Hitmonchan should be able to take the KO. Or the Lickitung, either one. Okay, the player is going to be discarding a Dragonite with the Energy Retrieval to get back two energies. So they had the Dragonite in hand, but no Dragonair. Okay, let's see what's going to be the attacker coming in next. An energy comes down to the benched Kangaskhan. Dodua retreats to promote Hitmonchan now. And there's the attack. Jab to take the KO against Arcanine. Once again, both sides are tied. This time at two prizes remaining apiece. So this Hitmonchan is the better attacker right now, as it's got a retreat cost of two, as opposed to Lickitung's retreat cost of three. Just in case a player needs to swap out. Okay, speaking of swapping out, the Pokemon Trader is using the Arcanine side, swapping a side deck from the hand for Arcanine from the deck. And the player does have the Electrode on their side. They just need a double colorless energy to fully power it up. And it looks like they might be getting it with this computer search, discarding two more cards from their hand. Yes, for the double colorless energy, so this Arcanine is going to be fully powered up once they knock out this Electrode with its Pokemon power. Okay, there's the 
Buzz Zap activating. So Dragonite takes their fifth prize. But Arcanine is now fully powered up. And there's last. So both players have to reveal their hands to each other and shuffle away all their trainer cards. And, okay, that's three cards from the Dragonite side and everything from the Arcanine side. So it looks like they're going to be trying to go all in with this Arcanine to take the final KO after they knock out this Hitmonchan. Okay, there's a Dex coming back down. And there's the Attack Declared Takedown. Knocking out Hitmonchan, taking the fifth prize of the game, and now both sides are tied and one prize remaining apiece. So it might be down to this Lickitung to take some more Paralysis Locks against Arcanine. Oh, but the player's going to be opting to go with Kangaskhan instead, giving it a third energy with the use of uh, Double Colorless Energy. And now here's Fetch. So as long as the Arcanine player does not draw another plus power, they can't take the one-hit KO. They can only deal 80 damage with Takedown. So it looks like the player's going to be trying to close out this game with Kangaskhan's Comet Punch attack without evolving a single time. Oh, never mind. There's a Dragoner finally coming down. <laughs> Took a while. There's a fourth energy coming down to Kangaskhan. Comet Punch can flip four coins. They just need to roll two heads to win this game. There's Bill to draw two cards out of the deck. Let's see what they got. Oh, and a super energy removal. Discarding the energy card of Lickitung to get rid of all the energy from Arcanine. And Arcanine will no longer be able to attack. Okay, there's a Comet Punch. They just need two heads. And... Oh, <laughs> it's all tails! Four tails! Comet Punch does nothing! <laughs> well, it's a good thing they had the super energy removal, otherwise Arcanine would have taken the KO, but it cannot attack until it passes the turn. Okay, there's Dragonite finally coming down along with the Dodrio, and there's the next Comet Punch. Again, they just need two heads. <laughs> and another! <laughs> another four tails in a row! That's eight tails in a row! What are the odds of that? Somebody calculate it. Oh my god, eight tails in a row! Okay, energy removal gets rid of the double colorless energy off of Kangaskhan. Once again, Arcanine cannot attack. They're just trying to stall out this game for something. Okay, back over to the Dragonite side. Let's see what the player can do. Hitmonchan comes down, which then gets uh, fighting energy. So is Hitmonchan going to be the next attacker? Okay, there's Dragonite activating its ability. Step in to jump into the active spot. And now with Dodrio's Retreat 8 ability... Dragonite does have a free retreat cost to essentially switch into any Pokemon. And now Hitmonchan comes into the active spot, hitting for 20 damage with Jab Attack. The players decided that Kangaskhan is not very good, so get on the active spot. We're going with Hitmonchan. Okay, there's a computer search from the Arcanine side. Discarding two cards from the hand to get any card from the deck. And let's see what they get. Another energy removal to get rid of the energy off the Hitmonchan. Uh, it looks like the deck was placed upside down. Okay, let's fix that. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Okay, turn passes once again. This Arcanine is just stranded in the active spot. It can't do anything. There's Professor Oak. The player just needs to draw one energy card to win this game. Did they get it? Yes, there it is. Jab to take the final KO and the final prize. And there's the handshake. Dragonite is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.